I'm always talking about breaking posture. The overhook system is one of the best ways to attack chokes and joint locks from the close guard. I'm going to pull the sleeve with a two-on-one grip, wrap the arm around, and grab the collar. The person is trapped. Let's see again the setup of the overhook. I pull on the sleeve with both hands, go around, and grab an inside collar grip. I'm now going to attack a cross choke with the fabric over the shoulder. My left foot goes on the hip to get the angle and I squeeze. Let me demonstrate you the second choke in the overhook system. It's called the punch choke. I'm going to use my knuckles on the side of his neck. I'm going to pull with my left hand the inside collar grip and drive my fist into his neck. As your sparring partner will be used to the punch choke, they will defend it. That's when I attack the straight armbar. I create the angle and put both feet on my hips. I then squeeze my knees together for a violent armbar. As you begin to master the overhook system, you will be able to threaten the three attacks, the cross choke, the punch choke, and the straight armbar. But it's only the beginning. Then you will be able to attack the triangle and the omoplata as well. Some observation about the straight armbar finish. I like to put my feet on his hips, create the angle, and then I will squeeze both knees on his back. From the overhook, my go-to move is the triangle. I grab his wrist, isolate his arm, and I shoot my triangle. I will then create the angle and close the triangle while underhooking the leg. In this triangle setup, I'm going to create two angles. The first one on the right with my left foot on the hip. The second one on the left to clear the shoulder to close my triangle. I will then underhook the leg and finish the triangle. The first thing is to control the wrist and shoot my hips up. I will then bring the arm to the other side, control my shin, get the angle and underhook the leg. I will then squeeze my knees together. The overhook system is the perfect position to achieve the high guard, where you can use an arsenal of submission, armbar, chokes, americana, punch choke, and straight armbar, and also a painful wrist lock. In this competition in Portugal, as soon as the referee resets us, I get the overhook, control the wrist, and shoot the triangle. At this point, I know it's done. I just need to underhook the leg and the triangle is over.